the, the music that you play on the sitar matures as you mature. It's a way of showing hunger. It's a way of showing pain. It's a way of showing sorrow. It's a way of showing joy. It's to do with reflection. It's to do with yourself, how you feel. I think it's very natural to have influences of Malaysia in our performances and our teaching today, even though we say we are teaching in classical Indian music. And sitar instrument is, is so versatile uh, to bring about different types of music, different genres of music. Different uh, moods, speeds. About 10 years ago, I was also teaching sitar in Singapore and then I was about to go in to the immigration counter when I realized that I had forgotten my passport. At that point, I hadn't paid my bill for a while, so the phone was bad. Okay, this is it. You know, this career is, is terrible. It's not paying any bills. It's, I've got no money in my pocket. I've got nothing. And uh, uh, from tomorrow, once I get back to KL, changing my career, I'm going to look for another job. And as I was sitting there in the bus station, there was a gentleman sitting next to me, Indian man. So the whole story came out that, you know, I got stuck in the immigration without a passport. I'm heading back. So he took me to the counter and bought me a bus ticket to come back to KL. And then he got me some food, he got me some drink. He gave me enough money for a taxi fare from Puduraya back to my house as well. <laughs> uh, and then the next day, I tried to call this gentleman to thank him and to, to pay him back. And the number that he had given me was false. It, it just didn't work. So on one side, yes, a life of an artist, I think, gets severely tested. But it also, you have these remarkable moments where you, you feel that God is looking after you.